Emily Huber, Pioneer Field Agronomist here in West Central Illinois. I've been out the past couple of days scouting our early planted beans to see where things are at and wanted to kind of give you an update on where things could be going from here. So uh, today it's Good Friday, April 10th, and the beans I've scouted so far were planted between uh, April 2nd and yesterday, April 9th. So a week time span that we've had here across the area to uh, get some planting in. Soil conditions have relatively been good, um, probably some of the driest we've seen over the past couple of years for planting, and seed to soil contact looks good. Uh, I like that I'm seeing beans planted at about an inch and a half deep, and that is really gonna help protect them as these temperatures kind of fluctuate here before these beans emerge. So uh, soybeans could emerge within 90 growing degree units. So what's kind of to come this next week, the weather looks cool. It doesn't look like we're gonna be gaining many growing degree units. Uh, so our soybeans are kind of just going to be sitting there waiting for the next step. So they're going to be um, protected with their seed treatment. So any pathogens that are going to be coming their way, we're going to be trying to fight those off with our seed treatment. Uh, the two that come to mind that could be our biggest threat right now would be SDF, sudden death syndrome, and pythium. Pythium really likes those soil temperatures in 52 to 57 degrees. So as we're hovering kind of colder right now, um, if we start to see those warm up and, and stay around that 52, 57, pythium could be a, a big concern and damping off here as these beans emerge. And then also uh, SDS, since we've planted early, we've planted in cooler soils, that's typically where we can see SDS uh, infection come in and show symptoms here later in the season. So those are my two kind of um, pathogens I have on my mind right now that might be trying to infect our seeds. Um, we do have protection, protection against those our seed treatment we have on these beans here in this plot uh, they were treated with our lumigen seed treatment so we have our Everglow Energy which has excellent rating against pythium uh, as well as other diseases and then our top of the line phytophthora treatment is lumicina and so we have that here as well as well as our gaucho insecticide for bean leaf beetle and seed corn maggot and then also a levo seed treatment to fight off SDS so this has been a look at where our early planted soybeans are at today and where I expect them to go. So we'll check back in soon. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.